Hey there, Louis Acabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use if statements in a calculated column in a SharePoint online list. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now in this tutorial, we're gonna look at three different scenarios where you can incorporate if statements in calculated columns in a SharePoint list. To start, we're gonna look at how to build out an if statement that evaluates a single condition. So that's just a standard if statement that checks some condition and then sets your calculated column to a value depending on whether the condition is satisfied or not. Then we're gonna look at how to use an if and statement. So we're gonna look at how to build out that if statement that checks whether two or more conditions are being satisfied and to set the values again, depending on whether that's true or false. And then we're gonna end off by looking at how to build out a calculated column that combines multiple if statements or nested if statements. So that is where you want to specify a range of different conditions and set your calculated column value two different options depending on which uh, condition is satisfied. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now the first thing that we're going to look at is how to create an if statement in a SharePoint list that evaluates just one condition. Now specifically, you can see here, I've already gone ahead and built this out for demonstration purposes. I have a column here that's called approval required. And essentially what this does is this is going to look at the value that is in the effort in hours column. And if that value is greater than 500, it is going to set this approval required column to approval required. Now, just to demonstrate this, I'm gonna go ahead and update this first row here to 600. And when I go ahead and exit the grid view, you can see here that that approval required column updated from not required to approval required. So we're gonna start by looking at how to create an if statement in a calculated column that just evaluates one single condition. All right, now to create a calculated column, you can scroll to the end of your list and you can click on the dropdown to the right of the word add column. Here you wanna go ahead and click on more and this is gonna bring you into the create a column menu. Next, you wanna give your column a name. So I'm going to call this approval required. And next you want to select calculated in the column type list. Next, you want to scroll down and in the formula field, this is where we're actually going to go ahead and build out our if statement. Now, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've actually developed my if statement. I'm just gonna paste it in here and make this a little bit bigger so that we can walk through the formula step by step. Now, to use an if statement that evaluates a single condition, what you want to do is you want to start off by typing in equals if, and then you wanna have an open parentheses. Now you can see here that I am piping in a column from my list. So you can see the formula reads if effort in hours, which I've just gone ahead and grabbed from the list of available columns in this SharePoint list, and I've added it in the formula. So if effort in hours is greater than, so you can see I have that greater than operator 500, and I'm just gonna undo that change there. If greater than 500, approval required. So the first condition after this comma is what you want to set the calculated column to if this condition evaluates to true. And then there's another comma and our false value. So if this column is greater than 500, set it to approval required. And if it's not, then set this to not required. So it's if open bracket, pipe in your column, and again, in this case, we're evaluating numerical values. If greater than 500, set it to approval required, else set it to not required. And again, I have my close bracket here. Next, you wanna go ahead and select your return type. So in this case, we are going to populate this column with text. So I've set this to single line of text. And last, you wanna scroll down here and click OK. And if I scroll over, you can see here that our approval required column has been added. 
Now I'll just go ahead and position this next to the effort in hours column. So you can see here this first row is displaying a value of 600, which means that approval required should be displayed. The next one is 100 and you can see here it's populating with not required. And if I go ahead and edit this list, and again, if I change the first value to something that is less than 500 and I click exit, we're gonna see that this column is going to update. So you can see here that this now changed from approval required to not required. So that's how to use an if statement in a calculated column that evaluates a single condition or a single expression. All right, next we're going to look at how to create a calculated column that combines an if and statement. So specifically, we are going to create a column that evaluates the values that are included in the priority and complexity column. And specifically, I've gone ahead and built out this column for demonstration purposes. So you can see here, escalation required. What this is going to do is it is going to set this value to escalation required only when the value in the priority column is set to high and when the value in the complexity column is set to high. So you can see here, if priority and complexity are high, then we're going to set this column to escalation required. And you can see here that if these values are not set to high, then it is just going to set this column to no. Now, very quickly for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and change one of these rows that feature the priority and complexity as high to something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to medium or low, and I'm gonna go ahead and exit my grid here. And you can see I've just set this value to null, and you can see that that escalation required column changed from escalation required to no. So we're gonna look at how to create a calculated column that uses an if and statement. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've created my calculated column. Next, I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to make the formula field a little bit bigger here. Now, when you want to create a calculated column that uses an if end statement, we're gonna start with building out our first if statement. So again, an if statement is equals if and then open bracket. Now you can see here I've piped in my complexity field. So if complexity equals, and then we have our quotation marks and the value. So in this case, high, and then we have a comma. And if we were just using the if statement, as we saw earlier in the tutorial, here we would just put our, uh, you know, if true and if false values. But because this is an if end statement, what we are going to do now is we're actually going to use another if statement. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type if again, and I'm gonna put an open bracket, and this time we're going to go ahead and grab our priority column. So you can see here I've piped that in, and next we're going to type equals, and again, in this case, we want to say if complexity equals high and priority equals high, so I'm gonna type in high, then I'm gonna put a comma, and this is where we actually put the output values. So again, if complexity is set to high and priority is set to high, what we're going to do is we are going to set this column to escalation required. So I'm going to put inside quotation marks my true value, and then I'm gonna put a comma, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my false value. Now, very important note, you wanna make sure that you have two brackets, close brackets at the end of this. Okay, so we've now built this out. Next, you wanna go ahead and select your return type. So again, ours is set to single line of text because we are outputting text. And last, you wanna to scroll to the bottom and click OK. Now, I'll just scroll over to the end of my list here and we can see here that escalation required column has been built out. And again, just like we saw when I was explaining it earlier in the tutorial, uh, right now there's only one row that evaluates true to, for that if end statement, this last one. So priority and complexity are set to high and you can see here the calculated column spits out escalation required. Now just to demonstrate that this is working, I'll go ahead and change uh, another one of these rows to evaluate to true. And I'll just go ahead and actually change a couple of them. When I go ahead and exit my grid view here, we can see we've got three rows 
that have evaluated to true for that if and statement and the column is going to display escalation required. So that is how to use an if and statement in a calculated column in a SharePoint list. All right, now we'll look at one final scenario and that scenario is how to create a calculated column that uses multiple or nested if statements. Now specifically what we're going to do in this example is we are going to create a column called size and this column is going to look at the value in the effort in hours column and if the value in this column is less than 250, the size column is going to be set to small. If it's between 250 and 500, it'll be set to medium. And if it's greater than 500, it's going to be set to large. Now you can see here, I've already built this out just for demonstration purposes. Now I'll go ahead and put 750 in this first row here, and I will exit the grid view and you're going to notice that this value updated to large where previously it was set to small. So we're gonna look at how to use multiple if statements or nested if statements to close out this tutorial. All right, now I've gone ahead and created my calculated column and I've called it size. Now I'm gonna scroll down and you can see here that I've already built out my formula. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly walk through how the formula works and I'm gonna do it in Notepad because it's a little easier to follow the formula when you can see it with the indentation and the multiple line breaks. Now, when we're using multiple if statements, again, we're always going to start with our if statement just like we saw earlier in the tutorial. So you can see here, my first if statement equals if the effort in hours column is less than 250, then we're going to return or set the column to small. And then we have our comma. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add our next if statement. And what I'm using here is the and formula. What this does is it actually allows you to build out expressions that contain multiple parameters. So I've put my if open bracket, and then I'm going to reference the end formula. And again, we're going to have another open bracket. And here I can actually specify multiple conditions. So my first condition is if effort in hours is greater than 250, and then I have a comma here to signal that that's the end of that first condition. And then I can just add an additional condition. And you can see here, again, I'm saying if effort in hours is less than or equal to 500. So both of these conditions will either evaluate to true or false, and that's how you can kind of use that end formula there. And if this condition evaluates to true, that is the effort in hours is between 250 and 500, then set that column to medium. Next, we have our final if statement here. So if effort in hours is greater than 500, then go ahead and set the column to large. And we wanna make sure that we have our ending close brackets here. So again, I've put in that expression in my formula field. So again, let's just have a look at it. If effort in hours is less than 250, set it to small. Then we have our next if statement where we're using n to specify the multiple conditions. If effort in hours is greater than 250 and if effort in hours is less than or equal to 500, then set it to medium. And the last if statement here, if effort in hours is greater than 500, then set it to large. I'm gonna go ahead and set my return type to text because that is what we're trying to populate in this column. And I will go ahead and click OK. Next, I'll click on the name of my list. And if I scroll over here, we are going to see that column populate and you can see here size and it's automatically set the value in this column subject to those conditions that we built out. Now again, I'll just edit this here and I will demonstrate this. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this first item from 750 to five. And remember our condition was if less than 250 set it to small. I'll exit here, and if I scroll over, we can see that that has been set to small. Now, a very important note when you're using multiple if statements or nested if statements, there is a limitation, and that limitation is that you can only have a maximum of seven nested if statements. So if you're 
building out calculated columns and you're using nested if statements, you will have a max of seven that you can incorporate. Um, but if you Google it, you can actually um, build out some workarounds using multiple different columns. So it is possible to exceed those limits, but you're gonna have to implement some additional columns to help you do that. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how you can use an if statement in a calculated column in a SharePoint online list. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below. Please share this tutorial with others that might find it useful. And most importantly, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.